Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Um, people want to look at dandruff. Um, I've received uh, a few comments that requested uh, that uh, I put some dandruff under the microscope. So let's get started. Well, first of all, uh, we need a good source uh, for dandruff and I think uh, that uh, a computer keyboard is a very good source. Uh, well, a computer keyboard from this viewpoint at least uh, looks uh, quite okay, looks uh, reasonably clean. But all you have to do is change the angle of the light a little bit and then all of a sudden a lot of dust and dirt starts uh, to appear. I think a keyboard like this is actually a quite <laughs> an ecosystem for unnumberable uh, microorganisms. Um, and also of course dandruff. And now how can I now harvest the dandruff? It's pretty self-explanatory. You just turn the keyboard in and around and give it a good knock. And here we go. That is basically um, our yield of dandruff and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect this uh, now together on a little pile and we're going to have a look at this under the stereo microscope first and then later under the compound microscope in dark field um, there is uh, occasionally also a little hair visible um, yeah this is everything nicely collected on the pile um, and uh, I've collected it on black paper so that it have a nice contrast and here it is uh, at uh, 20 times uh, magnification uh, we can see the individual skin flakes uh, probably not only skin but I would say uh, by far the most uh, most of it um, I never eat uh, with uh, beside my computer and therefore there are of course no breadcrumbs or no food particles um, but the dandruff itself that is actually the largest component uh, um, of um, of the dust uh, that uh, came uh, from the keyboard. Yeah, that's a very nice uh, flake over there. It's uh, the shape of the epithelium is, is quite um, clearly visible here in the sense that it's uh, these are flat cells which uh, stick together. Um, yeah, the uh, hair looks al almost a little bit, a little bit like a wire at this magnification. Yeah, and what I did not find, um, however, are dust mites. I have to admit, I was a little bit disappointed because of that. I was actually uh, hoping to also find uh, some of these little uh, critters uh, because dust mites, uh, they actually eat uh, the skin um, as a food source. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to find um, any of them. Yeah, so that is basically um, yeah another uh, picture here that I've taken, a still image, um, yet another one. And uh, you can see also that there is a slight uh, coloration um, and I guess this depends a little bit um, also on the amount um, of uh, maybe oil or grease uh, that was in the um, in the dandruff. Maybe also uh, depends a little bit on the thickness and the slightly reddish um, dandruff flakes uh, they could contain maybe um, yeah a little bit of blood as well. The hair looks like wires. This is uh, all quite fascinating I have to admit to see um, everything a little bit more three-dimensional. Under the stereo microscope you actually do see everything slightly, yeah, um, more, the, the impression that you get under the stereo microscope is a little bit uh, stronger because you actually uh, see it uh, in a three-dimensional way, something that uh, you cannot see of course on the computer screen. Yeah, so this is basically dandruff under the stereo microscope. So now let's uh, try something different. Um, I would now like to put some of uh, the skin flakes, some of the dandruff uh, under my compound microscope. And as a mounting medium, I'm going to use vegetable oil um, because uh, the dandruff itself is greasy and therefore it's very well compatible with oil. Um, if I were to use water, I might get some air bubbles and uh, it might uh, not uh, give a very good Im image. So for this reason, um, vegetable oil or olive oil, um, anything um, oily might work quite well. Yeah, a small drop um, of uh, vegetable oil on the glass slide. This will be our mounting medium. And of course, uh, a few dandruff samples here. Um, and I uh, kept on adding a few more. Um, and uh, then of course uh, you add a cover glass and uh, 
I had to have a uh, look under the microscope uh, first uh, using the low power four times magnifying objective. Of course, this is the one that you always start with. Um, and uh, then I gradually increased. And what we can see here is, is that the dandruff um, is a little bit transparent. Of course, as I mentioned before, this is in dark field. It gives a slightly nicer impression, but uh, you can also see some occasional fibers. And uh, these are dust fibers, probably or most likely from clothing. Um, so this is maybe uh, yeah, polyester fibers or cotton fibers or whatever fibers are present in clothing. And this here, this is a hair, however. This is a large horizontal structure and you can see it's kind of split. It's kind of interesting uh, that uh, what we see is a split here as well. And uh, in the background, the white part again, a little bit of dandruff. And uh, I have to focus back and forth a little bit uh, so that all of the planes um, are visible and in focus. Here is another hair and this bulb-like structure, that is the hair root. Here, a little hole in a dandruff and uh, this is where one of the hair started uh, to emerge. So what we actually see here is uh, the place uh, where hair started to grow out of the scalp. And uh, it's, uh, here we do not see the hair anymore, it's removed, but uh, before that I actually the hair was still actually in there before I started to mount it. Okay, well, uh, that's it again. What do we learn from all of this? Well, <laughs> clean your keyboards. Uh, happy microbe hunting, everyone, and uh, goodbye, and see you next time.